Hey there, today we're checking out the Blue Demon E6010 stick welding electrodes uh, for shielded metal arc welding. This is considered an F3 fast freeze stick electrode. So there are basically two stick electrodes found in the F3 group for mild steel or low alloy steels. They are 6010 and 6011. So these two rods will actually work very similar. They are deep penetrating uh, filler rods that can be used on root passes for plate or pipe. Um, they can be used for fills and caps as well, although they are not used as much today uh, for that purpose as they used to be. It'll have a light flaky slag that'll chip. It's got a light layer of flux on the actual rod. 6010s are a very aggressive rod. They will have no problem welding through thick rust, oily or greasy surfaces. It'll weld right through and strike an arc right through painted surfaces, no problem. Uh, these are really the down and dirty, extremely aggressive filler rods uh, that can be used in all positions, including flat, horizontal, vertical, and overhead. They are likely to be used on thicker sheet metal or plate because they are so aggressive. These rods are considered a cellulosic rod. This is a sodium cellulose as a coating, and the slag will actually chip pretty easily. Uh, especially this rod. Uh, Blue Demon did a great job with their formula. After you're done welding, you'll, you'll notice that the slag just falls off. Just go ahead and hit it lightly with a chipping hammer or a wire brush and it'll just peel right off, no problem. Uh, taking a look at the eighth inch rod today, I'm gonna go ahead and make a few welds with this eighth inch rod. I'm gonna run this, you know, somewhere in the 80s or 90s on what I'm welding today. Uh, but the range for this specific rod is about 70 amps to about 125. A 6010 is to be used on direct current electrode positive or direct current reverse polarity. So positive is the only option for 6010s. The 6011, which will be a separate video uh, that Blue Demon has, that can be used on positive or AC, but that is a separate type of rod. This rod can be ran as a stringer pass, so just a straight line without any manipulation. It can be run with the whipping technique or what we like to call the whip pause technique. And it can actually be used in a weave technique, although you don't see that too often. Um, it can actually be weaved. Another tip to consider when welding with a 6010 if the machine has a soft or crisp arc setting, use a crisp arc for 60 tenths. It'll help maintain that amperage a little bit more than if it was on a softer arc setting. If it does have a dig or an arc control feature, uh, you can take these all the way from zero to 10 or zero to 100%, depending on what the machine has. Uh, you probably wouldn't want to run this on a soft or negative arc control. So if it gets into the negatives, that's more for like a 7018 or a 6013 rather than a 6010. I have both the 50 pound and the five pound box here. So Blue Demon does make uh, different size containers and different size diameter electrodes as well. Uh, overall, very impressed with this rod. I definitely give a thumbs up to Blue Demon on their 6010.